Welcome to the Global Focus Review channel. This channel goes by the name of the Star of David and is also recognized as the Seal of Solomon. Ever wondered about the origin of this ancient symbol? It isn't confined solely to Jewish traditions. Rather, it has connections in various cultures. In this video, I aim to delve into the diverse origins of the Star of David, going beyond its association with the Jewish people and King David. I'll be uncovering the roots of this star, demonstrating that it doesn't originate from just one source, as commonly believed. It is linked not only to a single culture but to various peoples. Show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. To stay updated on future videos, I'll be sharing the intriguing history and enduring significance of the Star of David, an ancient symbol that transcends time, revealing its hidden origins. What exactly is the Seal of Solomon, and what is the Star of Wren? Despite its widespread reference as the Star of David, it's essential to note that, contrary to popular belief among the Jewish people, it is actually called Megan David. Megan translates to shield or buckler, and in the context of David, it pertains to the name of King David. In essence, Megan David means shield of David, not Star of David. While the term Star of David is commonly associated with Jewish identity and Judaism, it's crucial to recognize the accurate terminology for this symbol. Nevertheless, it is linked to certain manifestations of ancient occult practices. Its form is characterized by a hexagram, which is a combination of two equilateral triangles distinct from the menorah. The Lion of the tribe of Judah is featured on the flag of the Israelite tribe of Judah, along with the shofar and the lulav. The hexagram, known as the Star of David, didn't originally serve as an exclusively Jewish symbol. This geometric configuration is inherently simple and has been employed by various cultures throughout human history, often serving a purely decorative purpose. However, it is crucial to emphasize that each symbol carries profound significance. In the Galilean region, some churches utilized the Star of David as a decorative element. Some thinkers argue that the term Seal of Solomon was borrowed by Jews from Islamic magical literature. Nevertheless, they cannot definitively confirm whether the term Shield of David originated in Islamic or Jewish mysticism. Conversely, some contend that not only the terminology, but also the underlying esoteric philosophy has roots in pre-Islamic Judaism. Among other arguments, the Talwood is mentioned in conjunction with the hexagram engraved on the ring of the seal of Solomon. Moreover, it is pointed out that Jewish alchemists served as mentors to their Muslim and Christian counterparts. Influential figures, such as Maria Hibria of Alexandria in the second or third centuries after Christ, employed concepts that were later embraced by Muslim and Christian alchemists. These concepts can be visually connected to the symbolism of the upper and lower triangles forming the hexagram, which began to be explicitly utilized after that period. However, the hexagram gained widespread prominence in Jewish magical texts and amulets during the early Middle Ages. Consequently, many contemporary authors attribute the use of the hexagram by Jewish Kabbalists in medieval Spain to Islamic mysticism. When discussing the origins of the Star of David, the question arises whether it genuinely symbolizes the Jewish people and King David or simply alludes to him. Therefore, I will explore interpretations of the Star of David's origins, delving into its roots and meanings. Firstly, I will examine the prevalent interpretation among Jews, known as the Rabin interpretation, which traces the star's origin to the hexagram. According to this tradition, blacksmiths sought to gift King David a shield with his name. Some argue they intended to inscribe King David's name on all the shields of Israel's soldiers in attempting to engrave the name of David in ancient Hebrew using the Phoenician writing form, predating square writing. An unexpected occurrence transpired. The letters of the name David merged, resulting in the geometric formation of the Star of David or hexagram. This is particularly noteworthy when examining Phoenician writing, as the name David in Hebrew has three letters. Dalit, Vav, and Dalit. The Dalit, especially at the beginning, resembles a triangle, practically being a triangle. While the VAV is not a triangle, the other Dalit is precisely a triangle. 
Thus, two triangles form the Star of David or hexagram, with one pointing upwards and the other downwards. In this tradition, the fusion of the letters Dalit led to the creation of this symbol. Notably, in Phoenician writing, the name David is pronounced as Dawid. Rabin tradition also notes the confusion between the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon, essentially the same symbol with a minor difference. Some believe that Solomon distorted the original symbol due to his engagement in idolatry and paganism. According to this perspective, Solomon's worship of pagan deities and the construction of temples for these gods deviated from his father's faith. Consequently, he distorted the symbol of the Star of David, represented by the two intertwined Dalit, causing the symbol to become overlaid. Another interpretation suggests that Solomon, in his affection for numerous foreign and idolatrous women, represented the masculine and feminine in the symbol. In this view, the upward triangle signifies the masculine, and the downward triangle signifies the feminine or vice versa. Some argue that Solomon made this alteration due to his involvement with foreign Canaanite and idolatrous women, demonstrating excessive love for them. In essence, this symbol appears to depict the relationship between man and woman. The provided image of the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon illustrates the minimal distinction between them. Many believe that the Seal of Solomon is frequently utilized in magic rituals and occultism. According to certain accounts, Solomon delved into sorcery, and this seal was linked to a ring he possessed. Speaking of Solomon's errors, as documented in the Book of Kings, it is not a novel occurrence. Solomon, besides marrying the daughter of Pharaoh, developed affections for numerous foreign women, including Moabites, Ammonites, Sidonians, Canaanites, and Hittites. These unions contradicted God's instructions to the children of Israel regarding relationships with pagan nations. However, Solomon succumbed to the influence of these women, amassing 700 wives and 300 concubines. As Solomon aged, his wives led him to worship the gods of these pagan nations, diverting his heart from God's path. He even constructed altars for Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Moloch, the abominable god of the Ammonites. Solomon's actions were considered evil before the Lord, involving the worship of foreign gods and building altars for detestable deities like Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, near Jerusalem. He permitted his wives to offer incense and sacrifices to these gods, actions deemed abominable before God. This showcases Solomon's departure from his father David's faith, resulting in actions that displeased God. Returning to the discussion on the hexagram, known as the Star of David, it's noteworthy that the Bible does not explicitly mention its use by the people of Israel as a symbol of David. On the contrary, the Bible addresses the idolatry associated with a star adopted by Israelites who strayed from their faith. The Book of Amos, for instance, explicitly discusses this idolatry, and the Acts of the Apostles also touches upon this theme. Interestingly, a Jewish seal from the 6th century, discovered in archaeological excavations in the city of Sidon, features the Star of David. However, it is crucial to note that the 6th century was marked by various forms of idolatry among the Israelite people. The prophet Amos, who lived in the 6th century BC, specifically mentions idolatry related to a star known as the Star of Divinity or the pagan, demonic god called Remphan. Considering the reference in Amos, describing Israelite idolatry, divine criticism stands out highlighting their sacrifices and offerings to idols instead of following God's commands, leading to captivity and exile. In the Almia Bible, the passage is rendered in the following manner. Did you present sacrifices and offerings to me in the wilderness for forty years, O Israel? Instead, you chose to set up the tent of Moloch and the images of your idols, including the star representing your God that you fashioned for yourselves. Consequently, I will lead you into captivity beyond Damascus, declares the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. In simpler terms, from this alternative standpoint, both the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon, without any exceptions, would essentially be seen as representations of a star. Some argue that it might not necessarily be a star with a distinct shape, but rather an interpretation that varied when observed by different peoples. 
However, this assertion is dubious, given that ancient cultures like the Akkadians and Sumerians in the Mesopotamian region used a similar symbol to signify the sky, essentially representing a star. Hence, the Star of David or Hexagram, or Star of Remphan, would essentially be a pagan representation that gained acceptance among the Israelites, as indicated by Amos. From this perspective, the star would have no connection to King David, the Seal of Solomon, or both symbols, but would be associated with a pagan deity named Remphan. It is noteworthy that the hexagram appears in various cultures as a pagan symbol and is even present in magical practices. I invite you to share your opinions in the comments regarding which origin you align with for the Star of David, Star of Remphan, or Seal of Solomon. It is crucial to acknowledge that I have presented diverse interpretations of the origins of this ancient symbol to provide a comprehensive understanding. Addressing a common question about the authentic symbol representing the people of Israel. In my view, despite the respect for the Star of David, the most frequently used symbol in the Bible to represent the people of Israel should be the menorah. Thank you for watching the video thus far, and may God bless you. See you soon.